A simple but firm statement from President Biden causing international controversy right now, saying the U.S. would help defend Taiwan if China were to invade. The president telling reporters in Tokyo that the burden to protect Taiwan is even stronger after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. We support the one China policy. We report all, all that we've done in the past. But that does not mean, it does not mean that China has the ability, has the, excuse me, the, the jurisdiction to go in and use force to take over Taiwan. Leland Bittert, host of On Balance, joining us now. And Leland, the U.S. has always been deliberately ambiguous about Taiwan. The White House walking back those president's remarks. But why the departure now? Well, and it's not the first time the president has said as much. He said it to Anderson Cooper back uh, last year. He said that the United States would defend Taiwan, and we have a commitment to do that. He said it to ABC as well. And each time, the White House has said the president isn't changing policy. And it sort of depends on what your definition of defend is. Does that mean U.S. troops on the ground in Taiwan uh, fighting the Chinese? Does that mean airlifts of additional U.S. weapon systems? Uh, you parse these words very carefully, but certainly uh, President Biden's been a lot more uh, forceful uh, in his language towards China uh, than his predecessors have been on uh, Taiwan. Yeah, and we talk about the, the one China policy. Explain what that is for, you know, in, in layman's terms. The U.S. acknowledges China's position that Taiwan was part, that it, Taiwan is part of China. But then on the other hand, it's never officially recognized China's claim to the island. So what do we make of all that? Now, the Chinese view Taiwan as this democratic breakaway rogue province that they say uh, at some point will be reunited uh, into the communist uh, control of Beijing, but they have not yet uh, invaded it. This goes all the way back uh, to Chinese uh, independence in 48. Uh, and the United States uh, began the one China policy under President Nixon as they normalized relations with, uh, with Beijing. And you sort of have this idea that the U.S. Uh, understands uh, China's position, uh, Beijing's position, but at the same time says that we are going to arm Taiwan and provide them the weapons uh, for their own self uh, defense. It's the idea of strategic ambiguity, and that sort of goes to exactly what the president uh, had always, uh, every U.S. president had said, which is, we're not going to say what we will do if China invades uh, Taiwan. Now President Biden is starting to sort of say what America will do, hence this big change. And quickly, before I let you go, this is a sharp contrast to the American approach to the invasion of Ukraine. Explain why Taiwan and China are different than Ukraine and Russia, and what's at stake here? Everything is at stake. 90% of the world's advanced semiconductors are made in Taiwan. Uh, South China Sea sees two-thirds of the world's commerce that moves by sea go through it. Uh, a war in Taiwan, a Chinese invasion of Taiwan, would make uh, the price hikes uh, and the supply chain disruptions and the worldwide uh, earthquake that we've seen over Ukraine uh, look like really a fond and distant memory. Uh, so, I, in a way, the invasion of Ukraine has been a real wake up to the White House uh, in terms of the dangers of uh, some kind of takeover either by uh, Russia or by China. All right, Leland, thank you. And be sure to tune in to On Balance with Leland Bittert every week. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.